hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful tutorial and if this is your first time you are highly welcome so today we'll be learning how to make this drawstring top and basically all we need are just few things you need a pattern paper because i mean cutting on your chiffon directly it's a bit stressful so all you need is a pattern paper your fabric your marker pen your ruler and then your curve just for your ham hole line and then that's just it and if this is your first time like i said you're highly welcome and to those who have subscribed thank you for the love so far so quickly i'll be using this pattern for this tutorial and then i'll be drafting the front and the back 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 on the same pattern and so that point there is my shoulder line so from there i went ahead to mark the length of my top 30 is 30 because we'll be doing some necessary drawing so just stick around with me and you will definitely learn something new so from that my shoulder line i'm going to go ahead and mark my necessary point so from my shoulder to my bust point i'm using 10 inches and then to my waist i'm using 16 inches and then to my hip line i'm using 24 and then 30 is the length of my top and so i'm going to go ahead quickly and connect my lines to get there so this is my bust point my waistline and then hip line and then my top length so for my bust point here i'm going to go up by two inches for my chest line um if you're used to me on this channel this is what i do and so for my shoulder measurement divide your shoulder measurement by two so because this is a very free top i'll be adding one and a half inches to it it's a very free top so you can do two inches if you want but i'm using one and a half inches so from the starting point line i'm going to measure whatever i have and then i'm going to mark it down on the chest line and then connect my points my lines my dots i'm going to connect whatever is connectable together so this is my chest line or arm o line whichever one you refer to it as and so i'm going to go ahead and connect those two beautiful dots together and i'll be doing one inches for my shoulder slope and for my neckline I'll be using three and a half by three and a half so that it passes my head freely. And then for my back neckline, I'll be using one inches downward. Like I said earlier, I'm cutting both front and back on the same pattern. So quickly we'll connect every necessary dot together, each one to its own family member. Sorry for that. And then um that is all. And then on our arm O line, I'm going to divide that by two inches from the shoulder slope and then mark whatever you have there and then you can just connect your curve if you want but i just wanted something little so i went in by 0 0.5 and i'll be using the same 0 0.5 for both front and back and so on my chest line i'm going to go ahead and divide my boss round boss measurement by four and then i'll be adding two and a half inches allowance okay so two and a half inches is what i'll be using and the reason for that two and a half inches is just so um my rope passes very well for the drawstring i'll explain better while i'm sewing it so i went ahead to take my bust measurements and then i added my two and a half inches take my round waist measurement divided by four plus my two and a half inches allowance my hip measurement divided by four plus my two and a half inches allowance and then i connect the dots together so i extended that line outward there and then i went ahead to connect the points together and then from the hip line you're going to take whatever you have and then place it down on your top length and then connect your lines together if you want it to still fit but just my thing i decided to go out by one inches again from that point and then i connected it back to the hip line and so i went ahead to do my arm old curve and basically this is as simple as it is like guys this is so beautiful and then i'm going to go ahead and cut it out i'll be cutting out the neckline i'll be cutting the neckline while i'm transferring it on the fabric on the main fabric so if you're still watching to this moment please give it a thumbs up like or you want to share you want to subscribe whichever one it will be much appreciated so quickly i went ahead to cut out my back first i'm cutting out the back first and then my fabric is on fold and then i added allowance so 
I only added extra half an inch allowance on the shoulder line. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the back neckline just the way you're seeing me doing. So this is why I love this pattern. I mean, it's very free. And so quickly, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the front. So I'm not adding any extra allowance. I'm not adding extra on the shoulder line. And then I went out to cut out my front neckline guys basically this is it and so quickly we'll go into the sewing part so for the neckline facing i've gone ahead to do to cut out that of the bar but i'll be showing us using the front um part of the dress and so i went ahead to introduce another fabric and then i make sure it's on fold and then i went ahead to place my front um fabric on it and then I'm going to make sure it's well placed and then I'm going to trace out the neckline, the exact neckline. And then I'm going to cut it out and then you go ahead to measure how wide you want it. And so I'll be using one and a half inches. So you're basically just going to measure one and a half inch all the way around and then connect it and then go ahead and cut it out. If you want it wider than this, please you can go ahead and do that and so this is how it's looking and so straight ahead i'm going to place the back on the front right side facing right side i'm going to go ahead and join my shoulder lines on both sides and then i'm going to join the facing separately as well i like joining it separately and then after joining it this is what i had so i'm going to open it up and then I went ahead to just notch the midpoint on the facing and then on my main fabric. And I'm going to make sure I connect the necessary dot together. Um, the facing, I'll make sure it's facing. It's, that's why it's called facing for a reason. <laughs> I'm just going to place it and then just the way I'm explaining, I'm going to... um match the parts i notched so you can go ahead to do that with a pin if you want and then if you're good you can just go straight ahead and join it so i made sure the parts that are notched are facing each other and so after doing that i'm going to go ahead and sew it all the way around use hemming gum to turn it iron it and then come back and show us the outcome Okay, so this is what we have. So joining the facing separately and then later on um, sewing it back to the main fabric makes it look clean and finer just the way you're seeing. And so quickly we're going to go ahead and shape our dress using one inch allowance. Remember that I used two and a half. But before then, please, you want to fold the lower parts of your dress. You want to hem it before you shape. If you shape it before folding it, you don't have a space where your robe is going to pass. So you have to fold those parts before you go ahead and shape your dress using one inch. So after doing that, this is how clean it is looking. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and sew the channel where our rope is going to pass through. And you have to use a matching thread. So from the top part, you're just going to fold it in this way. And then sew it do the same thing on the other side and then i'll go ahead and repeat it on the other side of the dress as well and then for my rope i'm using one inches and then i'm going to sew it and then flip it over to the right side after doing that this is what we came up with this is the result and then this part here this side here that is where our rope is going to pass through so I'm going to go ahead, get my safety pin ready. So from my arm O points, you can allow your rope to pass through, but I went down by 0.5. That's where my rope is going to stop and then I'll top stitch on it there. So quickly, I'm going to pass the rope through the channel. I'm going to do that on all the sides, but I'll just use this as an illustration. And then you keep going till you get to the top. So after drawing it out, this is what we have so i'm going to go ahead and draw it back inward again so it's top on that 0.5 i marked and then i'm going to go ahead and then top stitch it do the same thing on all the other channels and then we are through with this dress guys and so after doing that this is the outcome 
the ropes are all in and they are looking very super fine so all you have to do is just draw it how you want so this is where it stopped and so all you have to do is draw it how you want on both sides and this is already looking beautiful already so quickly i'm going to go ahead and cut out the sleeve and i'm using a free hand for this and then my round sleeve is six but i added extra two inches for ease allowance because it's a free hand the hand is not tight and then from my starting point line i went down by four inches for my cap sleeve and and then from that from that midpoint i connected it down to the cap sleeve. guys i'm sorry but I think I'll be dropping a detailed tutorial on how to draft a sleeve. And then from that midpoint, I went down and connected it to the other end. From the midpoint, I connected it upward. I just hope you're following what I'm doing. Just try it out. It should still work. And so I went ahead to cut it out and notched the midpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and shape. I'll go ahead and shape the hand and fold the down and fix it and we are through and this is the final outlook of the dress it's already giving me butterflies like oh it's very nice and lovely just try something like this or similar and you'll be glad you did so if you're still watching to this very moment thank you thank you so very much for your time and thank you for your support as well it really meant a lot to me so all i did was to just style it how i want and i have a detailed tutorial on how i made this pants and i have other amazing videos as well so thank you so very much for watching bye guys